Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm gonna do my lineup here. Uh, got to a 95, which I guess is nothing special because there's people, <laughs> there's people on YouTube with like 99, way beyond 99. It just caps at 99 because you know, you know their shit would be past 99 if it let them. I don't even know how mine's a 95. Like, their their method for determining, like, look at here. My whole entire run offense, nothing is above 95 except Legarrette Blunt. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, look at that crap. I don't know how they come to the conclusion that my team's a 95, but I guess I'll take it. Uh, those are my overall doesn't really. I don't really care about my overall. I just like having. I just like having players on my team that I like in cards and whatnot. So that's how this goes. Uh, so there's my run. I didn't even go over the cards. We got Michael Roos, Adam Levitre, Nick Hardwick, Kevin Zeitler, and Orlando Franklin. Uh, this has been my offensive line forever because it's too expensive to buy. Too expensive to buy cards, like offensive linemen. They're so expensive, and these guys play like total crap against a good defense, but you know what? They they work. They work. I just run bubble screens, and I run screens, and I run read options, and I run to, I run to the strength, which is kind of like behind Adam Levitre because he takes one block, and then he kind of dive bombs. I don't know. It kind of works. My offense kind of works. I just run behind Michael or Marcel Reese because he's the best thing I got. Well, LeGarrette Blunt kind of fumble prone, even though he's carrying 96. He has fumbled the ball like three times for me. So I run him for like the first three quarters, and I bring in Emmett as my closer. Uh, then I sub Emmett in, and he he, cl he closes the game out for me because he's just a boss. And then uh, wide receivers, we got Josh Gordon and Keenan Allen. I want to replace this Julian Edelman because he's slow, for one thing. And I don't know. He just He's good for what I use him for, but I don't really want to... Like, it's not necessary. I want to get Randy Moss. I'm going to get that 99 Randy Moss, which I'm, like, 150K away from getting. Um, and I want to put him at the 1, then I want to put Josh Gordon, and then Keenan Allen can do Julian Edelman's job just better, and he can do a little bit more for me since he's got 95 speed. Um, and then I'm using Vic as my quarterback. You guys know it's always going to be Vic pretty much, but I do have the Aaron Rodgers that I completed the Stars of the Week collection. Wish I would have never done that. <laughs> but he, I do play him sometimes, like... Probably, like, if I play 100 games, I'd probably use him 10. You use Brady about 20 and use Vic about the rest. Or I'd use Denard Robinson. I don't know. I don't use Vic all the time, but he's always in my lineup updates. He always creeps his way into the lineup updates. I wish I could have gotten stupid cover vote. Pulled two packs and got the worst things possible. I got Troy Palomalu on the 360. And then I got Calvin Johnson on the 1. But you got a free Calvin Johnson anyway. So that was so, so was, that was just dumb. It was just dumb luck. And then behind here, I got Dez playing the 4 and DJX playing the 5. And you'll see why I don't play DJX on the starting lineup. Uh, but I do like Dez. I love throwing touchdowns to him because he throws up the X. And then I've got Antonio Gates. And I did take Gronkowski out of my reserves just on the very slim chance that I actually use a two tight end set. Which I do sometimes in running plays and stuff like that. But I don't ever th really throw when I have two tight ends. Um, defensive front made a few changes here. This is pretty much the Ninkovich. I picked up the signature edition. That's about all I did there. I still got Vince and Perry. Um, picked up Sean Phillips, and now Chandler Jones is backing him up. My defensive uh, linebackers, I don't know why I said defensive, uh, but the linebackers are all, pretty much all Chiefs. <laughs> you got Justin Houston, uh, road to the playoffs. You got Derek Johnson. You got Derek Johnson, uh, playoff. And then you've got Tamba Hali road to the playoffs. So three Chiefs. Usually people got like three 49ers. You got Patrick Willis, Navarro Bowman, and Alden Smith. But you know what? I'm going with the Chiefs. And I got Donald Butler. I don't know who I want to play there. Donald Butler, D'Amico Ryan. I want the 97 overall Patrick Willis. Uh, but yeah, that's a thing. Um, by the time if I bought to complete my team. To my standard right now, I think it would cost me five or six hundred thousand coins. I could buy that Patrick Willis right now because it's hundred k. I don't feel like buying it. Secondary, I got my boy. I got Charles Woodson. Uh, he's nasty. Um, a couple of people were telling me he's not as good as like his stats, but I don't know. He's played amazing for me. I played two games online and four solo challenges with him. I played three the other night, thinking he was in my lineup and he wasn't because that was that was funny. And the solo challenges. He had six picks, and I don't know. I don't really credit this, 
passes caught on because it's random online. He had three picks and one pass completed against him. I don't know. I can't really tell, but I think it was one pass completed against him. Uh, still got my uh, limited edition Joe Hayden, um, whose press is a little suspect. He plays a lot better than these stats on the back of his card show. So if you do want Joe, if you are Joe Hayden, you were kind of on the fence about this card because it doesn't look a hundred percent that great. Um, it's it's good, but it's not it's not on the level of like you know like the Revis, the ninety seven or ninety six Revis, Woodson. Uh, Dion, the 98 Dion. It's it's not quite on that level, but it's close. It's close. His stats are a little deceiving. He's a whole lot better than that. Um, and then I picked up Fonte Davis, even though I'm not a huge Colt fan. Um, his press is what I look for. He's got 95 press and 95 speed and 96 man. That's pretty much all that matters to me. The 90 play rec is pretty big, too. I would have liked him to have a little bit higher, like Charles Woodson's got 95. I think Hayden's got a decent one. Yeah, he's got 92. But 90 is not awful. And he, I haven't played a game with him yet. I just picked him up. And he he looks to be really good. He looks to be really good, but that doesn't mean he will be. And then I got my boy Devin McCourty. My two 99s are, uh, are two of my favorite players, two of my top five, six, seven players. And so, actually, pro let's see here. I got to go through video. I think top six. I think McCourty's sixth. So it'd be top six. And then we got Dante Whitner, um, who is playing way better than 94. He forced a fumble in one of my online games, and uh, he, he plays a good prevention safety. Like, you know, like when somebody goes deep and your safety has to come over and make the tackle, he always knocks the ball out. Rarely does the player make the catch if he if he arrives as soon as the ball does or seconds like a millisecond late he always knocks the ball out which is amazing and McC him and McCordy are a good pair because McCordy's a good shutdown safety like he'll go back there he'll he'll shadow um, he'll pro he usually ends up being Hayden or it was Arrington here but he usually would help them out and uh, he's come up with a bunch of picks for me so. That's good. And then we've got DJX. So this is why he's, I've got DJX returning kicks. I don't know why I have LeBeguerre at Blunt as my third down. Usually it's Emmett. Uh, Long Sapper is Pouncey just because he's an extra center, and so I just put him there. And then I got Janikowski and Andy Lead. I want I want to get Leckler and uh, Venetary, but they're like 60K combined. And I'm like, I'm not paying that much for a punter and a kicker. So that kind of has gone to the wayside. So we'll see. I'm hoping position collections start coming out soon, because uh, then that can that'll drop prices on some of the items that I want. I think I may be wrong. I don't even need this Jim Swartz at the moment. Oh, I do actually. I do actually. What what happened to my offense? I needed that. I didn't even get anything new. The other day I could just put. I don't know. Something something's either jack, jacked up a day ago or jacked up now. Because a day ago I didn't need any of the coaches to boost my uh, chemistries. And that's another thing why my team kind of is not as good as it could be. It's because I try to stick to 99 chemistry in both of the things. It feels like to me they do something and um, I'm going to trust EA kind of in the fact that they do something. I don't know and it feels like a challenge and it feels like something you should do is attempt to have good chemistry. So yeah, that that that's why I have 99 chemistry. I try to get it. Um, let's see here. Let's see. I'm going to. I'll show you my roster. I'll show you kind of the cards that I have um, at each position. The only two 99s I have. Okay, let's get into this. Quarterbacks. I've got Rodgers, Brady, and Vic. Uh, sometimes I'll bring Denard Robinson, the ghost one up from the reserves to play quarterback uh, for a game or two. Uh, halfbacks, LeGarrette Blunt, Emmett Smith, Shane Vereen. And I did complete the Lamar Miller collection because it was like. 4k to sell his cards and I was like like both of them and I was like yeah I'm just gonna complete it and test him out he actually played pretty good not a great third down running back wouldn't use him for that but I don't know for his price I, I, I I'd consider doing the collection um, just as kind of a change of pace back or a change up back um, even if you had like Jamal Charles in 98 it's, I'd still get him and you know just for something different uh, the Shane Vereen, um, he's good catching back, receiving back. I don't really use him all that much. Um, probably like one every 20 games or something like that. I haven't had him for that long. But that's kind of like the average. I am rocking three fullbacks. 
got a uh, Mike Tolbert, my Marcel Reese, and then my uh, I was just rocking these two, but then I had to take the had to take the 91 out of 100 Sheldon Richardson, uh, 99 trucking. Holy crap! I should I'm gonna start using him in goal to goal. I didn't even notice that. I'm just gonna use him in goal to goal and run the the that one option, the triple option, where you have the option to send one guy up the gut. Yeah, I'm gonna use him for that. I use Marcel Reese. He's not the greatest blocker, but he has the speed to keep up with my running backs, so he can get out in front, throw a block. Maybe if he sheds the block and running backs are already by, he can hit another block. And he's also good at receiving because he's fast. Uh, wide receivers, I got Keenan Allen, Josh Gordon, Edelman. I've seen that. Des Bryant, Deshaun Jackson. And Trinidad Holiday has been my returner since day one of the game, so I can't kick him off my team. I got, I got to hold on to him. He's my boy, and sometimes I'll put him in. I'm playing solo challenges. I'll throw him in, but online anymore, it's it's a it's a risk to play him because fumbling is the only problem. I wish they wouldn't make a uh, another trend in holiday. If I get a golden ticket, I'm making. If they do golden tickets and I get one, I'm making a trend in holiday or Tyrod Taylor. That's another quarterback that sometimes comes out of my reserves. Tyrod Taylor. He comes up to the big leagues. Uh, but I, those are my two golden ticket cards, probably because. It's so boring to make like a Randy Moss golden ticket. There's already a 99. Let's get some players that don't. I'd probably only be able to get him to like an 80 something, like an 86. But still, I'd make him. Uh, Gates and Gronkowski. Let me know in the comments who you guys would make with a golden ticket. Give me like two or three cards. Um, and let me know kind of like, I don't know, you could go like Patriots Moss or Raiders Moss, something like that. Um, or like Falcons Vic or anything like that. Uh, so my left tackle, Roos and BCA Baker, uh, Andy Lavitre, who's been on my team since I think like day two or day three, <laughs> so he's been on there forever. Hardwick and uh, Mar Marquise Pouncey, um, kind of the duo centers um, that I have, long snap and uh, my main center, right guards. We got Zeitler and D Dahl or Dale, um, had him on my team since like day one. And also, Andre Smith has been on my team since day one. And then Orlando Franklin has been on my team since, like, day one of the Road to the Playoff cards. Uh, left end, we've got Ninkovich. I have all these numbers, but none of them are the right ones except for Richardson, Hayden, and Allen. But I'm going to go for that correct numbered Cam Chancellor that comes out tomorrow. You better believe I'm going to be trying to get one. I think I'm going to get one on my team anyway because I need a better strong safety. And Cam Chancellor is a boss. So I might have to get him. Right in, we got Phillips, and we got the next gen Chandler Jones. I've collected, I made a lot. I've collected a lot of next gen cards, and I'm only using one. No, I'm not even using any because Chandler Jones is now on the bench. Uh, Lamar Miller doesn't get played. Tavon Austin's in the reserves, and Patrick Peterson doesn't get played. Uh, so left outside linebacker, we lot of I can't talk. We got Justin Houston and Trent Cole. Middle linebackers: Derek Johnson, Donald Butler, and D'Amico Ryan's. I don't know which one I want to start. Kind of like Donald Butler more than D'Amico. I don't know why. Right outside linebacker, I've got Tom Bahali and Danny Trevathan. I've got like 10 Danny Trevathans, these Trevathans in my reserves. I'm like, what the heck am I supposed to do with all these? They sell for like 2K, so I'm just going to... I just hold on to most of my fantasy cards for the odd chance that they're all in the, the position collections and they're all worth something. Like, maybe Danny Trevathan will be the rarest card in the right outside linebacker. Um... Positional collection. Cornerbacks. I got a dirty cornerback. Like, I don't have like Richard Sherman or Darrell Rivas, but I think I have a pretty dirty. If I could play all these guys, it'd be pretty dirty because I got Charles Woodson, Hayden, Bonte Davis, Kyle Arrington, Keeb Talib, Alfonso Dennard, and Pat Pete. I don't know. I need to probably send some of these to my reserves. But when I was making my like 90% Patriots team, uh, that's when they released Alfonso Dennard, so that made it so I had three Patriots cornerbacks to start, but now they've been replaced by Woodson, Hayden, and Davis. Hayden was like the fourth corner because I was just doing that whole Patriots team, but yeah, they've been replaced. Free safety, we got McCordy and we got the free Sean Taylor. Uh, he actually plays really good, so if you're not using him, he actually plays really good because when I play my three safety set, when I play my seven corner I think it's seven corners, three down linemen, one linebacker, something like that. He plays the f strong safety, and then uh, Wintner's in coverage. Uh, but he actually plays pretty good. 
he actually does play pretty good. And the way I got, I got Dante Whitner, who's just a boss, like I told you earlier. Um, I'll probably get rid of Rashad Jones if I get Cam Chancellor. And, Cam, and Whitner will become what Sean Taylor is now. And so Sean Taylor will be just kind of on the team. There's some cards that are just on the team. I don't know that... I don't know, it's a 55-man roster. i got to have some extra cards in case people get injured during game. And then Janikowski, Andy Lee. Let's see here what else. I mean, look at coaches. I've got all these. I don't know. I need to probably sell them. I need to sell these or do their collection. That would be an interesting thing. Do it. Try to get that whatever coach. Get all the gold. I don't even know. I don't know what I'm saying. Playbooks. I've been using these two playbooks since day one. Uh, once you get so used to a playbook, it's hard to switch. Like, I don't know. I love the Carolina. I could switch the defense, but I'm so used to clicking buttons to get to the play that I want. Uh, these are kind of the stadiums I cycled through. I really just play at Cowboy Stadium because I love it. I've been there in person twice, and I love it. And so hopefully I'll get to go there again next spring to see the national championship uh, college and uh, maybe the two games prior. I wanted to go to the Final Four in the National Championship this year for basketball, but um, I didn't get tickets. So, yeah, that's a thing. And I got these jerseys. I need to get some new jerseys or do something. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, it was kind of a long video. Um, but I like to keep you guys updated with my team. Some people ask me to do team updates just to kind of see the different cards. Um, hold on one second. Somebody's going to ask me. Actually, I'll do that later. I'm going to probably do a Charles Woodson review, so I'll do that later. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will hit you guys with a video tomorrow talking about Cam Chancellor. Maybe two videos tomorrow. I'm trying to make up for all those times where I missed videos for like three weeks or some crap like that. So I'm trying to make up for that. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to say this again, so I'm not going to. I will whatever. <laughs> um, peace out, guys.